everyone welcome to ui brains and this is navin so last class we have actually discussed about the core modules of node.js like fs module and path module so now in this video we're going to start with uh, the custom modules okay so first of all what is core module what is custom module so core module means the modules or the libraries given by the node.js itself and what is custom module means the module which a developer can develop okay so as we are all uh, backend developers so we have to write some source code right so for some functionality so suppose you want to develop a server side application so for that you must have to write your backend source code so what javascript files you have written so that's your custom module okay so let's see how to create a custom modules and uh, how to import and how to have a connection between two separate javascript files how to import exports uh, those concepts that starts uh, seeing in this video okay so first of all uh, back to here I close everything what we have. Um, I create a new folder. So 04 node.js custom modules. Okay. Uh, so in this, I create a new JavaScript. Let's say app.js. Okay. See here, interesting. This is, um, I write a simple function. Okay. Let greet is equal to one arrow function. Okay, and in this, um, what I'm doing is, I take a name here, and I'll say console dot logo with some backtick, hello, uh, name. So I have taken a very simple function called greeter, and I have to call it. So how to call greeter with the John? Let's take uh, my name. Okay, hello, my name. So I call, I create a function in app.js and I call the function in app.js. So both are available. The definition is available and the function call is available in a same file. Okay. So let me say which execute the program back to command prompt. I go back to the previous folder and then forward to fourth folder custom module CLS. Yeah. So now say node space app.js enter. You get the message. Hello, Navin. Perfect. There is nothing, you know, uh, no uh, magic or something or it's very simple, right? Fine. Now what's my plan here is I will create a folder. Okay. I create a util folder in that I create one JavaScript that is utility.js okay so i have util folder in that utility.js so what's my plan is i'm gonna cut this function and paste that in this javascript file so now observe here i don't have a function defined here function is defined in this javascript file but i'm calling that from this file okay so let's keep it as it is and let me run the program. So back to command line, I say up arrow node space app.js enter. You get the error. What is the error is greet is not defined. Yes, of course, you're trying to call a greet function, but that has been not even defined over here. Okay, that is defined in some other file that is not defined here. So that's the problem. Yes. So thing is how to make this function available here so this is actually the concept of custom module because we never write the complete application source code in a single file okay it's not like uh, i mean if you want to exam you want to understand a best example in our house we have a different different partitions right we have a kitchen separate bathroom separate bedroom separate uh, like we have all different different partitions same way uh, I want to write utility functionality in utility folder, database functionality, database folder, routing functionality, routing folder, uh, the view presentation logic in views folder, any static files in the public folder. So I wanted to categorize my application logic into a set of different different folders and each of these JavaScript file in the different different folders having in connection between them. So this is going to call 
the function in some other folder and that's gonna call some other function in the some other folder like that okay so how to make that connection between just two java c files how they have connected is import and export that that's module right uh, if you remember previously we have imported fs module and we have done fs dot read file write file right so where does that fs code available fs code available in a node.js installation okay same way i have the greet function in utility folder so i want to make this available here so how to make this available here is here you have to export the file i mean the file name i mean the the function you have to export from here and then that you have to import and then call it okay so export and import so how to export uh, how to export is you just say in a uh, in node.js how to export is you have a module this is a global uh, object dot exports is equal to you can say greet you can directly say module dot export equal to greet but uh, but, uh, but uh, if you have multiple functions then i take an object like this in that greeter okay perfect so this is i read a comment this is to declare a function and uh, this is to export export the functions okay so declare it and then export it fine and you have exported the creator so if it is exported you can import tell me how to import uh, we know how to import uh, our load fs module constant fs equal to uh, require right same story here also i wanted to give some name util is equal to require uh, here don't give directly util because if you give directly the name that will become a core module or third party module but any custom module you must have to start with dot slash okay so anything start with dot slash that will be custom module okay user defined module so dot slash util folder slash utility dot js or just utility it means this whole thing as loaded to this variable now so how to call is call a uh, function okay so what you do is util same like fs dot read file we have util now so util dot see we have a greet function is a hint okay if you don't uh, export what happens is this will not available suppose you don't export it no so then that uh, sorry uh, what i'm doing util dot so grid is not available because you are not exported you must have to export it so grid declare it and then export it and import it and call it so grid available so let's say my name okay so now perfect util dot grid and it's available and we call it now go back here let me run the main application program that is app uh, node space app dot js enter so you get the message hello Naveen so it means for every application there will be main file okay so for my application app.js is a main file and all supporting files here so entry point for your project is app.js here okay uh, fine so let's take another example in the same util um, what I do is let's create a function called reverse string I just want to just uh, convert string back to uh, reverse string okay what i do is let's reverse reverse string is equal to let's take like this uh, convert convert reverse okay i just take an arrow function uh, simple reverse string functionality i will get the string so what are the string you give me i will give back a reverse string of it so i'll take a temp is equal to empty string so let me write a for loop for let i equal to zero uh, not zero i equal to str dot length uh, minus one and i uh, greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus so temp plus is equal to i'm using shorthand math uh, str dot char h 
position of i okay and finally return the temp simple function don't worry this will take a string and gives back a reverse string okay and let me call this from here so let's do one thing let's message uh, is equal to hello and um, let's say util dot convert see the function is not available here why the function not available is see if i say util dot only greet is there but no that function because you have not exported you have just declared but not exported if you have not exported it will not available for others okay so comma convert reverse okay so this function also i wanted to use it outside so let's export that as well for fetch so now you can access this and call with a string okay i have a string already so let's say um does it returns okay um let's reverse let's say rev string is equal to util folder dot reverse convert reverse of my message okay so let me print it i will print console dot logo uh backtick uh here backtick the actual message is this one message and which has been converted to the reverse string okay so i got a reverse string and both together i am printing on a console so let's check back here and uh, run the program so you get the reverse string so very simple thing is this reversing functionality in some other folder okay so let's make uh, this is about uh, custom module okay so now what we are going to do is let's do one thing um we have already learned the fs module and path module let's in uh, let's combine the fs module path module and also the custom modules uh, with an example so you will be having a clear idea how to use custom modules with the core modules okay so that example we're going to see in the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video and also please subscribe to my channel thank you